trigger too fast. Just make sure you're on him. If he moves, you've got to wait and move, okay? Okay. Yes. Just hold on now, not yet. Okay. Devon? What? When you're on him for sure, pull the trigger, okay? Hey, welcome back to Outdoors America. See, this week's show is a pretty special one for me as I take my youngest son, Devin, out on his first deer hunt. We're headed to the woods, let's see how it goes. Today's the day I've been looking forward to for a lot of years. My last child gets to go on his first deer hunt. Well, it is the afternoon of October 18th, 2023, and we are out in Minnesota for a special hunt for me and a special hunt for this guy. This is my youngest son, Devin, and he is 10 years old. He gets to hunt as a youth now. I've been waiting for this my whole life. I think Devin's been waiting for it too. And it's uh, we're actually out at our, our family farm. Uh, my wife and I purchased this a few years back, but it's been in her family for many, many, many years. And uh, it'll be kind of special. I have not personally shot a deer on this farm yet. Um, actually, none of us have harvested a deer yet. You, you saw my wife out here last year, and uh, you saw that she didn't harvest anything then. But this year, Devin's probably not gonna let them let all walk. He, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, but the first deer he sees, he wants to, he wants to get a crack at. We are a day ahead of the actual youth season that they have here in Minnesota, which is a four day season. But Devin is bow hunting anyways. It's actually home hunting with a crossbow. So not only will we be hunting tonight, uh, we can hunt the rest of the year until he gets it here. That's the nice thing about hunting with a crossbow. And hunting with a crossbow is something that all of you should think about that have younger kids. You don't have to worry about the recoil that way with that you do with guns at such a young age. I know that that scares a lot of uh, younger kids off at the recoil and the, and the percussion that guns have. Crossbows don't have that and they are deadly accurate. They also have a lot of cutting power. They leave a great blood trail. Some of the smaller calibers don't uh, give you a blood trail at all. So a crossbow is a really good idea for the youth starting out if you want to have them have accuracy, have knockdown power, and have that blood trail to, to make sure you find their first deer. So, this is Devin's first time out. What do you think, Devin? It's quite nice. You've been in a stand before. You were here with mom and myself last year for mom's hunt. Mm -hmm. um, so you're not a rookie to the to the stand by any means. Yeah. You, you knew your way out here, didn't you? Correct. Say the first deer that walks by is a big buck. Are you gonna let him pass and let dad shoot him? I am not gonna let him pass. <laughs> So dad doesn't get to shoot that one? No, you never will. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna sit back, and let Devin uh, man the crossbow tonight and see what happens. If we don't get one tonight, which conditions aren't favorable tonight, but we wanted to get out here, get Devin all set up and see if there's anything we were missing before the rut activity really picks up in the next uh, week or two here. So we'll just take it, take it easy tonight and just enjoy our hunt. Let's just see what happens. Walking that way right now, but there's a slight chance that we could actually turn around. Yeah. Very slow or whatever there. So the first night, Devin got to see a couple deer, got him excited, but nothing gave us a shot. We weren't too worried about it because we had a lot of time left. Today is October 26th. It is exactly a week since we've been out with Devin. Hello. To try to get him a deer. The youth season was kind of a bust. Um, some kids we know got some nice deer, but all in all, it was uh, it was pretty tough conditions. That's why we opted to stay out of the woods, uh, stay out of our good spots and let them rest and we knew the time was right. It's been unseasonably warm. 
Um, the crops have been going out and the farmer that farms our land has been out there quite a bit so we didn't want to we didn't want to start pushing deer around too much out out at our place and we the cameras weren't showing much and they still aren't showing a lot but I don't have them set in the greatest spots right now typically I'd move them from from where I've got them on field edges and such to act uh, to active scrapes and uh, pinches and stuff like that right now but since we haven't been out there I haven't touched it and I probably will not touch them again we're just gonna get in there and get back out uh, without creating any unnecessary noises and uh, leaving unnecessary scent on places that we don't want deer to smell it. Like so we're gonna head in there tonight. Devin is going to try to shoot his first deer. Correct. And are you excited about that, Devin? Yes. And is it gonna be any deer or a buck or a doe or? All right. Well, there you have it. Devin is on the gun and he is ready. So this seemed to be a reoccurring theme, going out seeing pheasants and no deer. So after those several times out, seeing only a couple deer and a lot of pheasants, I had to take off to head to a couple other states and we had to put Devin's hunt on hold. So when I got back, Devin and I hit the woods again, only this time we did it with a muzzleloader. Yep, it's muzzleloader season and Devin's ready to go. I don't even know what day we're on anymore of Devin's hunt, but it's been a lot of them, hasn't it? Yes. Devin has been working his butt off to try to get a deer and just unfortunate things happen. Uh, he hasn't been there when the deer have been there. Uh, the weather's been way too nice like it is tonight. It's 37 degrees right now, and that's really warm for the last day of November. But he hasn't given up, have you? Yes, I still have hope. We still, we still have hope, he says. And uh, we're going to sit here and hopefully see a few deer tonight, and hopefully Devin can shoot one. And if not, we're going to do the same thing tomorrow night, aren't we? Exactly. And we're going to keep doing that until... The season is over or Devin shoots a deer. How's that sound? That sounds good. He'll be after it until the very last second. So hopefully things go better tonight. Like I said, I have my doubts because it's 37 degrees and it's the end of November. So we might not see anything move tonight, but we're going to have fun anyways, aren't we? Yes. It's kind of relaxing out here, isn't it? Yeah, it's very calming. Yeah. If you don't know, out here, the only sounds you can hear are either cars from back there or just pleasant sounds of the wilderness. Oh yeah, that's very true. So we're going to listen to hopefully more pleasant sounds of the wilderness. Yep. And then hopefully the pleasant sound of that muzzleloader ringing in our ears later on. So let's see what happens tonight. Now I left it to Devin to decide what deer he wanted to shoot. And it was not a surprise to me that when these deer walked up, he was going to take one. He had waited patiently a long time. So these deer are walking up and I have the camera on and I realize that my lighting is wrong in my camera, but we have it so dark in the stand that I can't see on my camera to adjust it. I'm in panic mode thinking that I'm going to miss my son's first deer on camera after all of this time. So instead, I grab out my trusty cell phone, make sure I can adjust everything, and give Devin the green light. I'm ready. You ready? Yes. Take your time. Don't pull the trigger too fast. Just make sure you're on him. If he moves, you've got to wait and move, okay? Okay. Just hold on now, not yet. Okay. Devon? What? When you're on him for sure, you pull the trigger, okay? Okay. I'm ready. When you're on him for sure. So after all this time of Devon waiting on a deer, I couldn't get the words out of my mouth Thanks, fast enough yes. for Devon to tell him to go ahead and shoot. Okay. Gotta follow his, blood trail. His, his tail was up when he left, so I'm not sure if you hit him, but we're gonna go try to find out, okay? Yep. Sound good? Yes, I'll do. Good job. Give yes. me a hug. 
Hey, you got the shoot. Yes. <laughs> Pull the trigger. I saw his tail up, so I'm, let's see what happened. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the shot, but we're gonna look for Devin, you ready? I was born to be. Well, it's the morning after Devin shot at the deer. <clears throat> and uh, all night long he just kept saying I was right on the deer I don't I don't know how I missed and I saw the deer run away with its tail up and uh, I actually could not find any blood um, I went down the two trails that it could have kind of ran down and I saw where it went I didn't see any blood and this morning I came out just to double check as you always should keep if you if there's any chance of hitting a deer you better keep looking for it until you know that it's that you didn't hit it well when I pulled up the deer actually after he shot it must have wheeled around and went right back into the path that we are hunting Devin made a perfect shot on it. I walked up to it already. We're going to show you that in a minute. Um, but I walked up to it already, and yeah, he made a perfect shot on it. We're going to go back. We're going to pull Devin out of school. Um, hopefully none of his teachers are watching this one, but uh, we're going to pull him out of school, and we're going to actually make him do a little bit of searching to get to the deer. We're not just going to walk him up to it, so give him a little bit of... Uh, Give, give him a little more hunting experience. So let's go get Devin and recover Devin's deer. Well, it's the morning after Devin took a shot at his very first deer. Um, you saw we looked a little bit last night, couldn't find any blood, uh, didn't want to push anything, so we backed out. Devin said to me how many times last night, I was right on the deer, I don't know how I missed. I think at one point he said, I think I even shot it in a gallbladder. <laughs> but, uh, so with that being said, we have to do our due diligence to that deer. And we're gonna make a loop through here and see if we can't possibly find any blood, at best, the deer itself. So we're gonna do a little loop through, um, see what we can find. And uh, if we don't find one, We'll get Devin back to school, and we'll be uh, hunting again tonight. But let's go, let's go check this out and see if we can find anything, huh? Yep. All right, let's go. Goodbye. Oh, there's blood there. There's a bunch of blood right there. Yep. It's got to be nearby. Don't break. This is a quite large trail of it. Keep following that blood. I can see it right there. Yep. It's over here as well. Okay, so we must have ran down here. So yep. must have done what we were what we were doing right now. He made must have made a loop de loop. Keep following that blood, don't go too far. Until you can find more blood. Blood blood. It's blood all the way up here, so keep following that blood. I'm trying to look for it. Blood blood. Uh oh there he is. What? The deer. <laughs> you found him, Devin. Clear shot right through him. Let's go. Look at that. Devin, your very first deer. Yes. Well, that's how you find clues. Pick it, pick it up. Mm, get. Oh. This is heavy. It's a clear shot right through the chest. Just where you, just where I said. You made a perfect shot. Get over here. <laughs> You've been hunting for so long. Get over here. Yes, we've been hunting Get... for so long. Damn it. That was a perfect shot. Yep. You made an absolute perfect shot. Let's go. He is froze solid. Yep. Froze solid. He didn't, uh, yeah, it didn't take long. Everyone, everyone watching Outdoors America and is subscribed to Outdoors America, this is for you. <laughs> Once nope. again. This is for you. Yep. This is for you, Devin. So Devin's been hunting hard 
for about a, for more than a month. More than a month. He was actually uh, bow hunting for quite some time. Um, everything just went somewhat wrong during during bow hunting season. Yeah. And so we decided to break up the muzzleloader when muzzleloader season opened, and we had a few close calls in the last uh, several nights with a couple deer in, in this area, just on the wrong side of the fence, too far away. And last night, these two deer, this one and the one with it, came out, and they, they were a little too far when they first started, but they got to the point where I felt comfortable with Devin shooting, and he made an amazing shot. It's, he kept saying all last night, I know I hit it, I, I know I was right on it, and he was. He made an absolute perfect shot on that deer. And it's your first deer. I'm proud of you, little bud. Love you. Love you too. And uh, yeah, his first deer. Dad's just as happy as he is, I think. Yep. But uh, we are going to get this deer tagged. We're going to get it loaded up. And we're going to go clean it and then get Devin back to school. Because he's still got school to finish today. Exactly. But. but uh, what a great way to end uh, the episode with, with Devin actually finally getting his first year at 10 years old, uh, first year hunting, and he got it done. Hey, thanks everybody out there for watching. This has been a special moment for this guy and a special moment for this guy too, I think, huh? Yep. Okay, big smile. This is your first year ever smile. <laughs> Congratulations, bud. <laughs> Good shot. Yep. Good job. Awesome job, Devin. So there you have it. That was my son's first year ever. Mm -hmm. What'd you think of it? Uh, it was pretty nice because I got to sit in the stand, enjoy nature, and spend some time with you. Hey, <laughs> I love it. And uh, that's, that's my favorite part of it as well. I couldn't, I couldn't have been more excited after uh, I wouldn't have cared if it was a world record buck or the deer he shot. I was just as excited. So, this one's going down in the books. We'll remember it forever. Hey, if you love this episode, why don't you stay tuned in for the next episode where my dad shoots a giant whitetail in Missouri. Does he get it? You'll have to watch and find out. <laughs>